Speaker. Senate Bill 1172 by Senator Liu and Acting to Healing Arts. Thank you, Mr. President, Senators. Uh, this bill seeks to ban a form of junk science known as repair therapy. Repair therapy is also known as gay conversion therapy, and it's the misplaced belief by some therapists that you can convert someone who is gay or lesbian to someone who is straight. The medical community has rejected this. There is no medical data for this practice. But it's not just that people are wasting their time and money on these therapies that don't work. It's that these therapies are dangerous. And so here are statements from some of the mainstream medical organizations. The American Psychiatric Association in March of 2000 stated that the potential risks of reparative therapy are great, including depression, anxiety, and self-destructive behavior. The National Association of Social Workers in 1997 came out and said, no data demonstrates that reparative or conversion therapies are effective, and in fact, they may be harmful. And recently, the World Health Organization, in a statement in May of 2012, stated, these supposed conversion therapies constitute a violation of the ethical principles of health care and violate human rights that are protected by international and regional agreements. These therapies lack medical justification and represent a serious threat to the health and well-being of affected people. This is not just theoretical. We have actual harm from these therapies. Uh, this bill is brought on behalf of people such as Kirk Murphy, who went through reparative therapy as a child. It was known as a sissy boy experiments. It was really the basis uh, for this kind of therapy. He was told to engage in all sorts of self-destructive behaviors. His mom was told that if he happened to play with girls' toys, that he would be ignored for the entire day. Uh, as a result, Kirk Murphy later committed suicide. This bill is also brought on behalf of people like Ryan Kendo, who went through repair therapy as a child, was told that he had to butch up, was told that being gay made God cry, was told that he had to go and play sports, and he testified that for 10 years of his life he wanted to commit suicide. Uh, he has not done that, and now he is speaking out against this kind of therapy. We have worked with uh, the opposition to this bill. I'm very pleased that uh, we have taken numerous amendments to satisfy this, their concerns, and now two of the associations previously opposed are now in full support of the bill. There are the National Association of Social Workers and the American Association of Marriage and Family Therapists. And I will continue working with opposition. Uh, respect the request, and I vote. Secretary, call the roll. Alquist? I. Anderson? No. no. Berryhill? No. Blakesley? No. no. Calderon? Aye. Aye. Canella? No. Corbett? Aye. Aye. Correa? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Desaigne? Aye. Aye. De Leon, aye. Dutton? No. no. Emerson? Evans, Fuller, Gaines, no, no Hancock, Harmon, Hernandez, I. Huff, Kehoe, Lamafa, no, Leno, Aye. I. Ted Lou, I. Carol Lou, I. Lowenthal, I. Negretta McLeod, I. Padilla, I. Pavley, Price, I. Rubio, Runner, Semidian, Steinberg, Strickland, Vargas, Aye. I. Walters, No, no Wolk, Aye. I. Wright, Aye. I. Wyland, No, no Yee, Yee I. <coughs> Senator Evans I. Senator Lou moves the call. Uh, we are at file item 85 by Senator Ted Lou. File item 85. Secretary will call the absent members. Emerson, no. Fuller, no. Hancock, I. Harmon, no. Huff, no. Kehoe, I. I. Pavley, I. Rubio, Runner, Semidian, Steinberg, I. Strickland. Eyes 23, nose 13. Measure passes.